good morning students and welcome to this class of english today we are going to study about the summary of the play mother's day and we'll also discuss some important word meanings so let's begin the chapter portrays the practical experience of a mother mrs pearson on a daily basis our kids disrespect and disregard her in her own home she was treated as a slave thus she felt a lot of ignorance and embarrassment every day not only from her daughter doris and son cyril but also from her husband george pearson who has completely turned a blind eye from his wife blind eye something means children uh, suppose a house has caught fire you are standing in front of it you close your eyes and think that nothing is happening the same was the attitude of george pearson towards his wife he was not at all worried about any of the problem of his wife Mrs Pearson life turns when she meets Mrs Fitzgerald a fortune teller and discusses her family members and their terrible behavior she tells Mrs Fitzgerald everything about her family behavior moreover Mrs Fitzgerald strong and sinister personality recommends her to exchange personalities so as to teach her family a good lesson at first Mrs Pearson didn't agree but after some encouragement she agrees to such bodies first of all children i would like to explain you what is the meaning of fortune teller fortune teller is also known as soothsayer and we also say in our local language that is astrologer one who predicts about the future so mrs fizzerald was a fortune teller and uh, mrs pearson discusses with her about her family and their bad behavior and she tells everything you know mr fizzlald was not a simple kind of person she was string strong and sinister personality and she makes a plan that why not to exchange the personalities and we will teach a good lesson to the family but mrs pearson was a timid lady and she didn't agree at first but later on when mrs fizzlald encouraged her a lot she agrees to such their bodies after that mrs fizzerald casts a spell and swaps her personality with mrs pearson and in a matter of seconds the personality switch and mrs pearson who was calm and composed is now seen smoking and drinking and mrs fizzlerald is now sitting idle the scene changes and now mrs pearson is in her home and doris the girl enters she hands her address and asks her to iron as she has to go on a date with her boyfriend charlie spence also she even objects her mother's smoking and when she asks her mrs pearson replies very harshly and advises her to do her work herself and further you know mrs pearson makes fun of her boyfriend after that doris feels miserable and shamed and starts crying when her mother insults and rebukes her it was also shocking for the girl you got she could not imagine that something like this could happen with her after this her son cyril enters asks him his mother hurriedly if his tea is ready on which mrs pierce and refuses and advises him to prepare yourself and after see her mother's reaction and her sister crying he raises his voice also 
calls Mrs. Fitzgerald an old hag, on which Mrs. Pearson instructs him to mind his language. When the kids talk about being worn out after work, she makes it very clear to both of them that they all will work equally from that day onwards. And she will not work at weekends because she also wants rest after the week-long hectic schedule. And she wanted to enjoy with her friends. At that point, Mrs. Mr. Pearson enters the house and expresses his surprise on seeing her wife drinking and smoking. He objects. Mrs. Pearson makes him realize that if he can drink, then she can too. Further, he tells him that instead of spending his time with his or wife, he is spending time with people who are making fun of him behind his back. Mrs. Pearson, on seeing her family insult, asks Mrs. Fitzgerald to stop all this. However, she doesn't let her speak until she teaches all of them a good lesson of respecting and honoring their mother. Soon after, they switch personality again. And after that, the son, the daughter, the husband learn their lesson and start supporting their mother and wife. So what do we conclude of this uh, play? It is that we all should respect, care and help our mother for all the hardship she does for us. So I think children, the summary would be clear to you. Now let's do some difficult word meaning of this chapter. Obliged. It means make someone legally or morally bound to do something. Mistress. A woman in a position of authority or control. Gracious. Courteous, kind and pleasant, especially towards someone of lower social status. Embarrassed. Feeling or sowing embarrassment. Dubious, hesitating or doubting. Chuckling, laugh quietly or inwardly. Astounded, shock or greatly surprised. Indignantly, in a manner indicating anger or annoyance at something perceived as unfair. Briskly, in active, quick or energetic way, staggered, walk or move unsteadily as if about to fall, sinister, giving the impression that something harmful or evil is happening or will happen, giggle, laugh lightly and repeatedly in a silly way, from amusement, nervousness or embarrassment. Balmy means mad or crazy. Anxiously in a manner resulting from or revealing anxiety. Bewildered, confused and indecisive or puzzled. Intimidated, frightened or overawe, especially in order to make them do what one wants. Flustered. He is agitated or confused. Recent. Feel bitterness or indignation at a circumstance, action or prison. Complacently. Showing smug or uncritical satisfaction with oneself or one's achievements. Children, it also means self-satisfied. Fluttering means trembling, incisive, intelligently, analytical and clear thinking. 
indignantly in the manner indicating anger or annoyance at something perceived as unfair laconic using very few words sinister giving the impression that something harmful or evil is happening or will happen stout a kind of strong dark beer brewed with roasted malt or barley fat head a stupid person concussion a violent shock as from a heavy blow contempt the feeling that a person or a thing is worthless or beneath consideration ct it's a long sofa kind of thing long up holstered so it uh, for more than one person typically with a back and arms solemn formal and dignified characterized by it deep sincerity pompous effectively grand solemn or self important so children that was all about the word meaning and i hope you will realize this knowledge not only with this chapters understanding but at other places also so the uh, i hope that you would get benefited with this explanation that's all for today thank you